you are. <laughs> There's lots of ways you can bounce, squirrels. There's the bird, the starfish, the ball, the jellyfish, the sleeper, Now, squirrels, look at what Dougie does and try to copy it. Sit down on your bottom. <laughs> and fold your legs. Like this? Now put your hands on your knees. Oh. This is called the lotus position. Uh... Is this it? Oh, no, Squirrels, there's much more. Oh, woof. Try lying down on your belly. Now, push up with your hands. Oh, woof. This is the cobra pose. What's a cobra? It's a snake. Do snakes do yoga? Yes. Lots of yoga positions come from nature. Such as the mountain, the dolphin, the eagle. <laughs> Wonderful weather today, Chuck. That's right, Pam. Perfect conditions for this. The 115th Annual Animal Obstacle Course Race. We've got some great teams out there today. Let's say a big hello to the blue team. Hello. <laughs> and looking confident today, the green team. Always good to see the yellow team. <laughs> and of course, plucky newcomers, the red team. Will they have what it takes to complete the six terrifying obstacles? Everyone designed to test the very limits of endurance. I'm frightened for them. <laughs> So, Dougie, are you going to go in goal? Oof! And Squirrels, you'll try and kick the ball past Dougie and into the goal. Why? Well, Betty, why? Um, um, uh, 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 <clears throat> because it's fun? Yay! So, Dougie will kick the ball to you, and you will try and kick it back. OK. <laughs> oh, woof. I 
think Dougie wants us to kick the ball. Kick the ball? OK. Kick! 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 <laughs> that was a brilliant kick. Yes, it was, Nori. But you have to kick the ball towards the goal. Oh. Huh? Remember, no running near the pool. <laughs> no acrobatics. No eating. <gasps> no diving. <laughs> no splashing. No, 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 no. No pushing. No, yes, well. Ribbit. Has everyone cooled down now? the players no end of problems. <laughs> Dougie choking early on. <laughs> and Happy finding the fairway rather slippery. <laughs> and after some confusion... No, 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 no. Tag finally reigns supreme on the final putt. Yes! Next up came Betty's hole. The complex vortex! Which set the difficulty level <laughs> mind-bendingly high. <laughs> what with the Hadron washing machine? <laughs> and the molecular microscope. Wow! <laughs> Until Nori launched a spectacular drive. <laughs> To win the second. Oh. Then came Tag's hole. Mega unfair! That's a strange name, Doggy. Oh. Trading hole for many today. Where finally Happy held his nerve and hold in 57. <gasps> Ooh, a ball! A wolf? Wow! Are we going to be playing basketball, Dougie? A wolf, wolf. Ooh. Ah, is that the football badge, Dougie? Woof! Are we going to be playing football, Dougie? Woof! Yay! Ooh. <laughs> oh! But you'll be playing outside, Dougie. Ah, wolf. So, Dougie, are you going to go in goal? Oh, wolf. 
and squirrels. You'll try and kick the ball past Dougie and into the goal. Why? Well, Betty, why? Um, um, uh, 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 <clears throat> because it's fun? Yay! So, Dougie will kick the ball to you, and you will try and kick it back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, woof! I think Dougie wants us to kick the ball. Kick the ball? Okay. Kick, 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 kick! <laughs> that was a brilliant kick. Yes, it was, Nori. But you have to kick the ball towards the goal. Oh. OK. ...of the annual Animal Obstacle Course race. What's that? It's a race where each team tries to get round a course by going over, under or through different obstacles as quickly as they can. And the team that finishes first wins... <gasps> a prize? Well, sort of. Can we race too, Dougie? Oh, woof! Yes, because Dougie has his obstacle course badge. So you can enter as... The Red Team! Wonderful weather today, Chuck. <laughs> That's right, Pam. Perfect conditions for this, the 115th Annual Animal Obstacle Course Race. We've got some great teams out there today. Let's say a big hello to the blue team. Hello. <laughs> and looking confident today, the green team. Always good to see the yellow team. <laughs> and of course, plucky newcomers, the red team. Will they have what it takes to complete the six terrifying obstacles? Everyone designed to test the very limits of endurance. I'm frightened for them. <clears throat> King Tiger, when you're ready. I now declare this obstacle course open. <laughs> and they're off! Run, Rolly! Run! <laughs> Mind your head! <laughs> Interesting technique from the red team. Let's see how they handle the second obstacle. The watery ditch of dread. Ooh, I don't like the look of that. Yeah! Look at what Dougie does and try to copy it. Sit down on your bottom. <laughs> and fold your legs. Like this? Now put your hands on your knees. Oh. This is called the lotus position. Uh, is this it? Oh, no, Squirrels, there's much more. Oh, woof. Try lying down on your belly. Now push up with your hands. Oh, woof. This is the cobra pose. What's a cobra? It's a snake. Do snakes do yoga? Yes, lots of yoga positions come from nature. Such as the mountain, the dolphin, the eagle. Oh, I see. How about the wavy tree? You just wave. Like a tree. Yeah! The wavy tree. Oh, we don't know that one, do we, Dougie? Woof! <laughs> I've got one. 
with a bendy bug pose. You just bend like a bug. Yeah. Bend like a bug. <laughs> Good one, Happy. Oof. <gasps> cool, man. I told you the vibe was strong here. This yoga is making me feel... Let's ride! <laughs> on a show. Him happy? No, I just want to feed him. He's worked really hard today. Oh! <laughs> Off you go and hide, squirrels. <laughs> A woof, woof, woof. <laughs> Have you seen somewhere you can hide, Roly? Woof, woof, woof. Right, squirrels, Dougie's coming. Ready or not? <laughs> woof, woof. Is that everyone, Dougie? Hmm. A woof, 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 a woof. Who could be missing? Hmm. <gasps> oh, woof, woof. Oh, Roly, really? of course. Wow. He's hiding really well. Let's go and find him. Yes. What does she like? Meow. <gasps> Enid likes dressing up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! We could have a dressing up party for her. Ooh, Dougie could help. A uh, woof! Because he has his dressing up badge. And a uh, woof! The dressing up box. Yay! <laughs> Finished! I'm going to be a pirate. Trust me hearties. I'm going to be a farmer. Vegetables ahoy! I'll be a knight. Whoa! Easy, boy. Nina, Nina. Oh, 
be a fireman. And I'm going to be a plumber. Very practical. So, everyone's dressed. Yes. Ribbit. <laughs> yes. Oh, woof. Jolly good. Just in time. Here comes Enid. Remember, Enid doesn't like... Happy birthday! Ow! Loud noises. Rolly, you've scared her away. Sorry. Never fear. I will not have my nap time until we have found her. Me too. And me. And, and us. us. I see her. She's over there. She's locked in a tower. Mow. Not for long. Onward, squirrels. Yay! <laughs> Going to cross that. Fear not, Tag, for I, Nori the pirate, have sailed the six seas, seven seas, and I will see you to the other side on my pirate ship. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Set sail! Watch out for the sea monster. Hold tight, everybody! <laughs> but look! A dragon! Hello! <coughs> a fire-breathing dragon! However will we get past? Coming through! Nina, Nina, Nina! Ooh, that wasn't in the script. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> from the very first hole. With Nori's course... Crazy creatures! <laughs> causing the players no end of problems. <laughs> Dougie choking early on. <laughs> and Happy finding the fairway rather slippery. <laughs> and after some confusion... No, 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 no! Tag finally reigns supreme on the final putt. Yes! Next up came Betty's hole. The complex vortex! 
which set the difficulty level mind-bendingly high. What with the Hadron washing machine? The molecular microscope. Wow! Until Nori launched a spectacular drive to win the second. Aww. Then came Tag's hole. Mega unfair! That's a strange name, Doggy. Woof! In 57. Yay! A wolf? A wolf. Thank you, Dougie. I feel it's time for me to give someone else a chance to run the summer fair. Well, I suppose I could do it. I mean, my castle doesn't run itself, you know. <laughs> oh. I can do it! Huh? Excuse me? I could run the fair. I've got lots of ideas. But you don't have the experience. I've got experience in having fun. Hmm, fun. It's not about fun. It's about organization. Organization. It's about time the little people had their voices heard. Yes. That's all well and good, but it's about the big picture. <laughs> There we'll have magicians, musicians, and one million things to do! But do you even have the relevant paperwork? I do. Oh, woof, woof. You're right, Dougie. There's only one way to settle this. We'll have to have an election. Oh. Uh, what's an election? Dougie can explain. He has got his election badge. Oh, woof, woof, woof. Woof. It's where everyone has to decide on something. Like who will be boss of the summer fair? Exactly. And everyone gets to choose by having what's called a vote. You can vote for Lord Fingal or Buggy. And whoever gets the most votes... Wins the election. And gets the job. <laughs> Yikes! Right, I'm off to get voters. So Okay. Is the committee meeting over, Dougie? Woof! First, choose the music you want. Play the music. Then, record onto your tape. Once the song has finished, choose other songs. That remind you of something. <laughs> because the best mixtapes are made for someone special. And don't forget to decorate the cover. Hey, Dougie! We made a new mixtape. Just for you! I chose this song for your mixtape. Because it reminded me of when we got our... Sprinkler bag! There was water everywhere! 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 It was so much fun! Oh, I chose this one! Because it reminded me of when we got our... Digging bag! We did so much digging! Huh? It took us ages to get home. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was a very long day. <gasps> <gasps> this song reminded me of when we got our...
welcome your host, Doggy! Woof, 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 woof! So, without further ado, let's meet today's teams. Oh, woof, woof, woof. Our team is called the Squirrels. Oh, woof. <laughs> woof, woof. We are the Acorn Heads. We're the reigning champions. <laughs> and please welcome our resident brain, Ladybug. Hello. Let's start our quick fire first round. Oh, woof, woof. Oh, woof. <gasps> a lawnmower. Correct. Oh, woof, woof. A transient state of being. Oh, woof, woof, woof. Me? Oh, woof, woof. Oh, woof, woof. The bee's knees. Potato. B minus E plus F equals two. A slice of cheese. Correct. At the end of that round, the score is 3-4 to the acorn heads. Yes! On to round two. Oh, woof! In whose house is this mouse? First team to tell me whose house this is wins the round. The owner of this house is clearly a badge guy. He's obviously got a big appetite. And watch out, ladies, he's a guy in uniform. <gasps> it's Dougie's house. Oh, yeah. Look, there's Enid. Huh? Mouse! <coughs> Correct. Making it four points each. Hey, Dougie, what are you doing? Oh, woof. Knitting? A oh, woof. Dougie said knitting was one of his favourite things. Uh, what's a favourite? Luckily, Dougie had his favourite badge. Oh, woof. Ooh. And he explained all about it. He's very good at explaining. Oh, woof, 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 woof. He said it's something you really like more than anything else. Oh, woof, 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 woof. And everyone has a favourite something. What's your favourite thing? I don't know. There's so much to choose from. Then... Don't you have an idea? He said to help us decide, we should ask everybody else what their favourite thing is. So we did. Testing! Testing! Working! Working! What's my favourite thing? Big question, man. Should I powder his nose? Achoo! Never mind. Hmm. Peace. Yeah. Peace is my favourite thing, man. I thought he'd say carrots. What's my favourite thing? Well, it's easy. It's Nigel. My favourite thing? Hmm. I'll have to think about that. A clear order and rapid response. Quick march! What's my favourite thing? Is the volume OK? Yes. Ugh, my backpack is heavy. A woof woof? A more helpful thought might be, how can I... <gasps> Make it lighter? <laughs> Lunchtime! Mm. Good idea, Rolly. Oh. Vitals replenished, the explorers were once again on their way. With a spring in their step and a fair breeze at their back, but the winds of fortune were about to change. <gasps> the map! Which way should we go now? Oh, woof. yes. If we stay calm, we might have a helpful thought. <gasps> we came from down there, so we need to go up. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> 
Mountain mist squirrels. But where is everyone? Oh, woof woof. Remember, think helpful thoughts. Like, keep my feet firmly on the ground. I'm prepared for anything. I am a strong, confident hippo. Oh, woof. Why are we going down? Trees go up. Well, trees start underground at the roots. Roots do lots of work. Ooh! There are bugs down here. Oh, yes. It's all very lively around the roots. Good day, Mr. Buggington. And Mrs. Grubsworth. Because this is where the roots collect all the food for the tree. Get your nutrients. And your minerals. Get them fresh. But when it rains, water soaks down into the soil. Making it so the tree can drink water straight through its roots. Like a straw. A woof. We're going up again. Yes, we're following the... Water! <laughs> it gets sucked along the roots, then up into the tree trunk. But the tree isn't wet. Because the water is inside the tree, protected by the bark. What's bark? The rough wood the tree wears. Wears? Like a coat of armour? Oh, wolf. What are those? Insects. What are they doing? Some of them have been collecting leaves from the top of the tree. And some of them live up there. They live in the tree? Yes, lots of animals do. Like this woodpecker. Do you like living in this tree? It's one of the best around. And what's that squirrel doing? He is getting dinner. Trees provide food for lots of animals. Some trees have nuts, others have berries. Some trees have fruit, and some even have coconuts. Wow! So many leaves! Which is a good thing, Betty, because they're very important. Leaves catch the sunlight, which helps the tree to grow and cleans the air to help us breathe. <sighs> they can be food for animals and shelter from the rain or sun. Trees are home to spiders and bats and all sorts of birds who might stay in the same tree all their lives. And each different kind of tree has a different kind of leaf. Some trees lose all their leaves in autumn. And then in spring, new ones grow. For you. First, they appear as tiny buds. Then they grow and grow until they're all here again. These are amazing. They really are. This tree is tall. It is tag. And from the top, you can see for miles. Oh. As the sun sets, the tree is transformed into a home of slumber. A place to sleep. A bed. A safe haven away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. <laughs> the perfect spot for a little rest. Oh! Ugh, trees are amazing. Yeah! Here it is! 
Huh? Huh? That's our last bit of wrapping paper, Rolly. Uh-oh! Huh? Let me get it off. Hello. What have you done to me? was going to speak, but he stopped himself because he is being quiet. Now you try. Tag? Yes? See what Dougie did there, Tag? Oh, yeah. Johnny Good. Now everyone else. Excellent. Look. Dougie is saying he's pleased that you're all being quiet. Can you say things while being quiet? You're saying you're cold. You're saying you're warm. You're excited. I think you're thinking. And you're going to be quiet. Are we ready to go snard spotting? Shh. <laughs> Is where your great grandmama last saw the snard. <gasps> oh, sounds like everyone's hungry. Did you bring some of your homemade pineapple bread, Dougie? Looks like you'll be stuck here for a while. Whoa! <laughs> I like your hat. Move. Hi. Where are you going? We're going to the tropical lake. We're going there too. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we nearly there yet, 
Dougie. Oh, woof. Are we going to be stuck in traffic forever? Oh. If only Dougie had a badge that would help. You mean, like this one? Huh? Yes, of course. Dougie has his traffic badge. He knows what to do. Oh, woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof. Ah, good idea, Dougie. You'll take a shortcut around the traffic. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the A303 your more direct route, Dougie? Oh, woof, woof! Oh, yes, I forgot about the roadworks on Beehive Bypass. Oh, woof! I think he's broken down. No, no, no! My beautiful pineapples! Looks messy. I told you to slow down! <gasps> Hello. What happened to you? We were on our way to the tropical lake to sell my refreshing pineapples. But my beautiful gato, he hit a bump and his tail went. And all of my pineapples, they went everywhere, blocking the road. Myself. We'll help. Oh. <laughs> Just time for one more thing. 